Hey all, and welcome back for another round of Health Icoms Patreon TV Coms. Today we return to the <laughs> very funnily named Do Ra Ra Ra, which uh, I always have to take a running start at, lest my uh, tongue get twisted and whatnot. And uh, we're going to be covering episodes 4 to 6 today, courtesy of the ever wonderful SH Madam. Thank you once again for your support. Uh, we actually have a new co com for this, since Spar's not really fond of doing TV Coms and whatnot. We figured rather than trying to to uh, fit a square peg into a round hole. Uh, we'll just go with someone who's actually watched the show, uh, maybe in its entirety before. It is Axel. How you doing, mate? Hey, I'm doing good. And yeah, I used to watch Dora when it was uh, on Adult Swim back in the day. And ah. uh, did, did a little bit of catch up. I haven't seen every episode, but the episodes that we are watching today are ones I did see. Cool. And uh, you told me you actually watched one to three uh, just to get you know, up to speed and whatnot recently. Yeah, like, re, re familiarized myself with some of the characters, because uh, based on, like, some of the memes that YouTubers like to kind of pull out with the with the <laughs> yeah. series, it's like, oh, yeah, I know Shizuo, I know uh, Trollzaya, mm. but uh, let me, like, remember all the other ones, too. Uh, well, we'll have our chance for that as we go through. If you guys need help syncing, check the video description. Uh, essentially, when I say click, that's when you want to hit play on your video. Here we go. Durarara, episode four. The dub, might I add. In three, two, one, click. Alrighty. What I remember from uh, the previous episode is uh, Mikado and uh, that one girl are the class reps now, I believe, and uh, the Dollars Gang have been causing trouble. And obviously, we have the Doolahan herself making uh, her rounds. Yep, Selty Storson, who is uh, probably like one of my more favorite characters from the uh, from the series, along with Shizuo and Isaiah, because their chemistry together is just hilarious. Uh -huh. Oh, this guy, <laughs> yeah. Yep, Shizuo right there. Isaiah, voiced by Johnny Young Bosch. Oh, yeah, that's a very Johnny Core character. Mm -hmm. Also, I like how he's just like staring at the can, just flying by. Mm -hmm. He tosses the can, and what do you expect <laughs> to happen? Really? Yeah, it's a fun. Yeah. It's a fun opening. Uh, I was thinking to myself um, the other day, more of an intrusive thought than anything. Uh, mm -hmm. If they didn't want to call it Durara in the West, they could have called it Dollars in the Doolahan. That's true. Yeah. I feel like Dora was kind of like meant to be like Dullahan related too. Mm. And let's also be honest, this opening kicks ass. Really? Yeah. Oh god, she's full of smoke. <laughs> Where's the mirrors? Mm. We'll have to wait for that. Mid season twist, perhaps. <laughs> but yeah, Silty uh, is pretty much a Dullahan if it's not too obvious. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we got a uh, Simon, the uh, the black Russian sushi uh, promoter. Yeah, breaking a lot of ground though. Mm hmm. Uh, and in the previous episode, he also does speak quite a bit of Russian to some Russian tourists. Uh, helps him out too. Mm hmm. And then, yeah, so like, he's sh he's shown to be very powerful too. Indeed, he's so. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Those were uh, <laughs> fun to cover as well. Mm hmm. Ah, we're doing the uh, typical RPG, making the rounds, finding out the information about the, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's a terrible picture. Y you do what you can with these local legends and whatnot, man. Well, it's local legends and, like, old-school cell phones when you think about it. Like, look, those are flip phones. Yeah, Jesus. It's <laughs> like how the first The World Ends With You had flip phones, and then f flash forward to Neo, everyone's using smartphones. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, online chat rooms as well. Yeah, oh, that was a big thing with uh, anime in that period. Digimon uh, very much took advantage of that. Mm hmm. Hmm. I mean, she doesn't say much herself, so you know. I mean, she can't really talk. <laughs> I mean. I had learned sign language, perhaps, ASL? Well, she does use a cell phone to communicate through text messages. Oh, yeah. Ben is. 
<laughs> like she just like uses it so coolly, like slips right out of her sh- of her of her uh her suit into Cat her suit. Ha- into her hand, and boom. Yeah, cat suit is the term you were looking for, mate. I That's remember yeah. because I uh, I read that one Marvel uh <laughs> one off Mary Jane and Black Cat Beyond. Actually, not too bad. Oh. Well, we have uh, Shinra, who is not related to Final Fantasy VII's Shinra Corporation. <laughs> he took the words right out of my mouth, though. <laughs> he is a doctor, though, so that's a bit weird. Mm. He's pretty much the kind of doctor that gets into shady stuff, but mm-hmm. you know what? I think uh, we can appreciate a doctor like that. Yeah. Well, if I was in a gang, I would probably appreciate him more. I would rather just go to my GP on those instances I enjoy leaving the house. True, you don't want to get caught by the cops and, and all that. Yeah, now who's this he's going to be perving on? Of course. Ah, okay. Ah. Uh. Oh my god, <laughs> she can talk. I I feel like they just put in the voice just to make it clear, like, yeah, she's communicating. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Mm-hmm. And of course, not to make it just be like, okay, you have to read this text every <laughs> time she talks. Uh, don't help that I'm English and she's writing in Japanese. <laughs> I mean, she traveled all the way from Ireland. Ah, uh, yeah, true. Doolahan is an Irish thing, if I remember my... Uh, Cryptid law correctly. Yep. All right, let's see if I can scroll down the list here. Uh, yeah, voice actors Selty Sturluson, voiced by Miyuki Sarashiro, Japanese, and Kari Walgren in English. That rings a bell. Hmm. Her voice definitely is familiar, and it's. I, I feel like I know which character is on the tip of my tongue, but I can't recall it already. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, she's uh, Robin in Which One to Robin, the dub. Uh, that's actually. Oh. Co- yeah, it's coming to a close as that series on HFC. We uh, have a couple more episodes to do, do you, uh, Neo and O? Hmm. Also, I like how the two of them, even though they live together, they just communicate through text messages. <laughs> Reminds me of uh, my current landlord. Like, she's her room is, like, right across from mine, but we communicate on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you? It's so convenient. Oh, my God. Speaking of Shinra here, uh, Kari Walker had also voiced Ash in the... Uh, Final Fantasy. What? Oh, no. Wait, Ash in Final Fantasy Twelve, Shelk in Dirge of Cerberus. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. That's why it sounded familiar. Mm-hmm. Lucky Cat's big thing in Japan. Oh my god, mm-hmm. this is so... What uh, f- f- app do you think this is aping here? Because it doesn't look like MSN Messenger. Uh, AOL Instant Messenger. Mm-hmm. For sure, because I remember I used to use that so much as a kid. How many uh, free trial discs did you get through? Uh, we got a lot. Yeah. But we did eventually just get our uh, our own per- uh, service and all that, so eventually those just went away. Yeah. Is AOL still a thing these days? I think it is, just like the Instant Messenger, though. Yeah. Because I know, I know it became its own little thing even after AOL stopped being used. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to be still going. God bless it. <laughs> I have no head. <laughs> I have no ears, you insensitive prick. <laughs> Leaving fruit out. I know it makes the place look nice, but I can't eat it. it- it's okay, it's fake fruit. Ah, okay. It's kind of interesting how she just acts like a normal human, too. Yeah. According to the synopsis here, she knows she's a Doolahan, so I mm-hmm. guess she's just had time to uh, accustomize to it. Yeah. I don't know if this is a spoiler or not, but it apparently it happened 20 years ago. <laughs> it, it was a long time, so at this point, who cares? Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, Isaiah giving some money. He is uh, an informant, technically. Mm-hmm. Also a bit of a prick, if I remember him fucking with that one girl. Yeah, it was uh, episode two where he was 
sort of trying to convince a girl to kind of just jump off the building. Mm-hmm. And uh, Selty saved her. Yep. You see, I do remember certain bits. Ha ha, <laughs> worth every penny. <laughs> I also like how her bike just sounds like a horse at times. Yeah, nice touch. Yeah. It's a, it's a good way to modernize the Dolahan, too. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of other updated versions of classic monsters. Uh, would the Babadook count? I have no idea what the hell that is. Uh, apparently it's a metaphor for something, but God knows, because I haven't watched it. I don't really go in for horror, as uh, mm. you, you guys may have noticed from HFC. The closest I get is Luigi's Mansion. I'm that much of a <laughs> pussy. <laughs> uh, depends on the horror for me. I mean, recently I've been playing Resident Evil 4 again, but that's a, that's a different thing. Oh, which one? The original or the remake? Uh, the remake. Uh, my friend and I have kind of been playing it, or I've been playing it for her to watch, and it's been fun so far. Uh-huh. Do you want an uh, animated example, mm. I think, of a dual hand? There would be the uh, Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Crane. Oh, now that name sounds familiar. Yeah, it's uh, the, head the Headless Horseman. Hmm. You know, thinking about it, like, obviously, technology is getting a lot better bigger and people are customizing even things like cars to do some crazy things when do you think we're going to see someone modify a motorcycle to sound like a horse mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be uh huh. maybe paint it in a powder colors <laughs> yes i've been playing through uh, tears of the kingdom lately as you would know if you follow me on twitter sorry for that by the way um and uh, i found a giant Horse and a golden horse. Pretty nice finds overall. <laughs> nice. I uh, my landlord is, has been playing it on on Sunday. I like went into her room just to watch her play a little bit. It's like, oh wow, they mm -hmm. actually did a really good job with this. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Well, I guess she don't I mean, need it, then. Yeah. And technically, she doesn't have a head, so yeah, of course you're not thinking with your head. Did you have to do the horse as well? Uh... Oh, so Have she's you... looking for a head. Yeah, usually like the Dullahan obviously being headless, they tend to either carry their head with them or they're looking for their head. Mm -hmm. I think there was a Dullahan in Konosuba, if memory serves. Uh, yes, if I remember correctly. Although I, my experience with Konosuba, surprisingly, is the mobile game. Oh. Uh, hey, it's fun. I was actually playing a little bit of it before we started. Mm -hmm. Yep, <laughs> I'm uh, looking right here. Uh, Baldia. Hmm. You know, it's actually great that, like, Dolahans do get representation, but what about the Horseless Headsman? The Horse... <laughs> the, Our... the Horseless Headsman, yes. Uh, what's that from, then? I, I forget where it's from, but I just know it's the opposite of a Dolahan. Okay, I need to look this up. Horseless <laughs> Headman. <laughs> Why am I seeing fucking Christopher Lloyd here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. That is ridiculous. Close that down. Uh. Mm hmm. Oh! Mm. Is that why it's a motorbike in the Mondo? Yes, I believe so. Aha. Uh -huh. I think, like, Remembering watching this, I it, this was either the first or the second episode I saw with 
the other one being the second episode with the girl. Mm -hmm. Which, either I missed out on the actual first episode, or I wasn't paying attention as a kid. (laughs) It it would be very likely that you may have, you know, skipped a few things while you were a child. I know I didn't have the greatest Mm -hmm. attention span. (laughs) Yeah, especially because this was happening like around midnight uh, my time, whenever it showed up. You should have been in bed, mister. Hey, it was like high school and it was the weekend. Fair enough. (laughs) I'll I'll smack you with this portrait, bitch. Wow, that is really nice. He just really ha- hastily puts away How to Draw Manga Volume 1. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen like people like this at like Universal and all that. It's like, I kind of want to get my picture uh, drawn, but at the same time, it's like, uh, never mind. What if he draws me accurately? That can't happen. <laughs> Ah. Hmm. Yep, that's her, all right. It looks really good. Yeah, I heard beautiful the first time, mate. I don't know how old Salty is. Um, I don't recall. <laughs> well, <laughs> she's immor- immortal now, so does it matter? Yes, it still does. <laughs> God, I wish I could pen flip like that. Would be very handy to bust out a pie. Mm-hmm. Although, then again, I think people at work would hate me because I probably would do it all the time. Duh. Yeah, kind of a redundant uh, question there, (laughs) Celta. Do you know how often I see a cryptid in the wild? Dude, I will remember this until I die, and then my ghost <laughs> will still be fascinated by it. Yeah. I, he's, he is right. It was a magical thing, because how often do you ever see a damn dollar head going around? Oh, shit, there's one outside right now. Hey, Mike. Hey. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess there is that. She can't be the only mm. dude hand out there in the world. So, I know I mentioned it earlier, like, how it slides in and out of her sleeves. I, like, wonder, how much practice did she have with that? Uh, well, when you don't have a head, you have to stay indoors a lot. Let's just say it would be like COVID times a thousand. Oh, God, no. Don't remind me, I couldn't find food sometimes. Oh. Stop clicking your pen, dickhead. Like, really annoying. Like, even without (laughs) functioning eardrums, it's still annoying me. You would hate me, then, because sometimes I just click it for fun. (laughs) Oh, I... I don't know, there's something about the name Shinra that pisses me off. Uh, is it the president? Is it his son? Or <laughs> is it something unrelated to Final Fantasy? <laughs> it was me attempting to make a joke. An appeal to the Final Fantasyers in our audience. <laughs> Hmm. 
If I remember, I think like Shinra was also like one of my favorite characters. This show just has like a lot of good characters. Mm. I'm assuming we'll spend some episodes with some and some with another, because M- Mikado hadn't really made an appearance here. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, and it. Shinra is voiced by Yuri Lowenthal. I thought I heard Peter in there. <laughs> God, we got some proper footage for uh, Spider-Man 2 PS5 the other day. I want it! I want it now! Uh. <laughs> it, it does look good, and not having played the first one, I think I want to so I can play the second one. Wait, is there a headless woman out there? You know we love that shit. (laughs) Oh. Interesting. You could have sedated her first. Uh, they really should have. Also, why is the child in the operating theater? There's so many questions there. He wants to learn. Hmm. Ah. Your turn. <laughs> it's like when you're in middle school and you have to dissect the frog in science class. We we don't do that over here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we we did that like in our eighth uh eighth year, which was surprising. Um uh, year eight for me in secondary school, no, it's not ringing a bell. Hmm. And that's how little Shinra became a man. Oh, bless. <laughs> hmm. Would she become mortal again? Is that how you reverse the Dulahan curse? Hmm. Good question. I didn't give you consent to uh, use my likeness in film, by the way. <laughs> he he sounds like they're a couple. Like he makes it sound like they're a couple. Yeah. Together. And sometimes he's just like, what fucking ever. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that bag. Yeah, three times now. <laughs> huh. That is a bit weird, Shidra. I mean, what if Salty wants to get ahead in life? Hmm, she can't do that. She'll never be the head of a major corporation. Exactly! <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm calling the police. <laughs> ha 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 ha, we are laughing. Ha ha he ha. Ha ha, we are sort of friends now. Ah, yes, the ED. And I remember this ending, how it's. It looks like they're making a tree. Uh-huh. Or a tower, whatever you want to call it. She's the other class rep, I believe. Yep, Henri. Mm-hmm. Who is, uh, I can find it. Uh, voiced by Michelle Ruff. Yep, there you go. 
Cream the Rabbit in uh, some incarnations of Sonic, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, Rukia in Bleach. Uh, Yoko in Gurren Lagann, or Gurren Lagann. Uh, Shinon in Sword Art Online 2, and Luna in Sailor Moon. There you go. Oh, he looks so happy <laughs> to be holding him. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not being part of this tree. Keep scrolling. Now, I believe there's no next time. Well, there is a next time thing. There's no stinger in this particular episode. Uh, I will double check before we start the next one. Um, but uh, when I say close the video, you can close the video. Close the video. <laughs> that was quick. So yeah, we are back into the world of Durarara, and uh, Celti's play, I think, will make for a, an interesting uh, B-plot, as it were. But uh, I imagine we're going to go back to Mikado and uh, his side of things now. I'm just checking through the uh, credits for episode 5, and there is no stinger, it's just a next time thing. Uh, any additional comments to make about episode 4 before we move on, Matt? Uh, I just like that they do go into Celti's backstory, because, I mean, Celti, like I mentioned, one of my favorite characters in terms of both design and just how she actually acts in the series, we'll say. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I do enjoy her and uh, Shinra's quote-unquote relationship, <laughs> as bizarre as it is. That's probably the best he's going to get in life, even if it is only a platonic thing. Then again, who am I to talk? All right, episode five, you got it all loaded and whatnot, mate? That I do. All right, here we go. Episode five of Do Ra Ra in three, two, one, click. Okay, okay. Now this is just going to be the same thing as last time. So, um, what, what I usually ask at times like this is, are you watching anything currently? It doesn't have to be anime. It can be you know Western animation. It can be live action TV. Hell, it could even be recorded stage plays via a VHS camcorder. <laughs> uh, well, I have been watching a little bit of Hell's Kitchen lately, uh, mostly because the official YouTube channel puts up clips every day, but uh, I've also gone back to like a couple of seasons. Just recently watched season seven, I think? Yeah. Yeah, uh, very fun to watch. Anything yourself? Uh, let's see. This afternoon, I've been uh, re-watching the JoJo OPs, uh, people's reactions to those, always fun. But in terms of, like, shows and whatnot, um, there's nothing really current. Like, Mandalorian isn't going to be back for at least another year, and that's, like, one of my go-to things. God knows when JoJo Part 7 will come out. <laughs> Lord <laughs> knows they're going to be taking their sweet time animating those horses, or maybe they'll just, you know, CGI them and then cover them in animation. That'll probably be a good way to get around it. But, uh, otherwise... We, I mostly watch stuff that we record, so it's always cool to get new stuff into my system through these things and get support at the same time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess technically I could say I'm watching Durara. Yeah, technically we are watching this show. <laughs> uh, but it's funny you bring up JoJo, because uh, with all the AI generation stuff that has been happening on YouTube, you got, like... Dio now singing a bunch of different songs like the Rick Roll, Bury the Light, Idol from Oshinoko. It's like, holy crap, are they actually working hard on this? Uh huh. Alrighty, here we go. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, man with briefcase. Man running through alley, my favorite genre of anime. Dead end. He looks like the fucking manager in uh, <laughs> um, Zombieland Saga. Oh my god, he does. I guess this is what happened to him. No, this is like an alternate universe where he actually was a prick instead of acting <laughs> like one. <laughs> god, I can't wait for the third season of that. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, where's not the Kool-Aid man? <laughs> not only am I being stabbed. <laughs> also, what? Uh, there's a, a rogue saxophone player watching and scoring this very scene. Yeah. Uh-oh, red eyes. Take warning. Keep out. Mm 
Yeah, like, just chase guy, get briefcase, but then some <laughs> slasher bitch had to come and distract me. Like, yeah. it, it, did, it didn't hurt me, like, that did nothing. Honestly, I'm embarrassed for you, but it's more embarrassing <laughs> than anything. It, it's like, oh crap, they went for my head. Thankfully, I didn't have a head. Yeah. Rude. Yeah, the last time I, like, grazed my arm doing some work or whatever, uh, in the rare instance I go in for physical labor, yeah, he started calling me a slut. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, last time I got a wound, all I was, all I could really hear was, ow! Typical That's like response. a lot of pain. Typical response, yes. Mine was a lot more interesting. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, we are back with the uh, Protag and his crew. You've been mm -hmm. doing the voice stuff, so uh, why don't I start picking up the slack here. Uh, Mikado Ryu Gabine. Sounds like anime. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Toshiyuki, Toshiyuki Toyonaga, Japanese, and Daryl Gilbert in uh, English. Not mm -hmm. really familiar with that dude, but uh, his blonde-haired friend is... Uh, Masaomi Kida, Mamoru Miyano in Japanese, and Bryce Papenbrook in English. I'm pretty sure we brought this up last time, but a refresher never hurts. Mm-hmm. One thing and I Bryce did, no one thing I did yeah, notice no. now is uh, each one of these guys has a primary color as their uh, main theme. That they do. Like, we got Masaomi Kida with the blonde hair, and technically, uh, we got Ryu Gamine and Anri just with the Double black hair, so it's like, hmm, they're a perfect match. Not actually what I was talking about. Take a closer look at their clothes, mate. Oh. Let's see. Uh, blue. You got a blue tie. Red ribbon. Uh-huh. Yellow bag. Yeah, there you go. Nice. It means absolutely nothing, most likely, but hey, <laughs> I like looking at colors. What can I say? No, they're just trying to represent like different country flags that use those three colors. Together, we will form whatever colors these make up. Yes. Uh, E.K. Bookero. Please don't tell me, like, a man in a red coat is going to jump off a building to try to shoot me in the face. Uh, I don't know. It depends on what day you go out, really. <laughs> As a reference, uh, that is from Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Oh, thank God you clarified, because I wasn't sure <laughs> what you were talking about for a second. Though. <laughs> oh. If only getting out of school was that easy. Yeah. Like, deuces, bitch. <laughs> now, I don't want any of you copying his rebellious nature. Just everyone starts pouring out of the classes. <laughs> we here at HFC do not condone some of the actions that are occurring on these animes. Um, especially his hairdo. It's far too spiky. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, seriously... Like, did Tetsuya Nomura design you or something? <sighs> really? Go for the low-hanging fruit? <laughs> I mean, I could have just said anyone else, but he was, like, the first one that popped in my head. Fair enough. Oh, no. Hmm. He is far too suave for his own good, especially as a teacher. Stranger, danger, stranger, danger. Well, it's worse, because it's not a stranger. Danger, 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 danger. <laughs> yeah, just danger twice. <laughs> You're a little close. Too close, get away. Like, that's, like, something that this anime has kind of, like, explored. Like, it explores, like, a lot of those 
dark sides of like people's lives that you see. Mm-hmm. Like we saw in episode two where a daughter catches her father cheating, reports it to her mother, but then is having some thoughts about herself. Right, yeah. Mm. Not a fan of that. Mm -hmm. Ha. Just a little bit of karma. Yeah. I I will say, Kita, thank you for interrupting that guy. (laughs) Of course. What, no flake? What am I, a fucking animal? (laughs) Man, I haven't had, like, an ice cream like that in years. Although, I like how they all have different flavors, too. I was literally about to say that again. Different colors. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Kita has chocolate, Ryugamine has uh, strawberry, and Henri has vanilla. This is gonna get really hard to keep track of, considering you use, uh... Actually, is Mikado his surname or his first name? Because there is the Japanese naming convention to go with. To be honest, I have no idea. Well, alrighty then. Like, Japanese names are kind of weird, and I don't mean that, like, in a bad way. It's like, you say it one way, and then another way is also said. Good words. Well said. Mm -hmm. Speak good. (laughs) Yes. Yeah, that makes logical sense, I guess. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep, episode three, callback. Oh. Oh, is that why the dude left? He's uh, off to search for her. That's uh, possible. Uh, Especially if you watch the ending, you kind of see them together, so... Hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn ED spoiling every plot point. <laughs> you got openings and endings to spoil in everything in the anime. Hmm. Mm. Real good friends, just gals being pals. <laughs> uh, I don't know, we got Kita and Ryugamine, who aren't exactly gals, but pals? <laughs> just imagine in uh, other people's heads around them, just the most vapid bullshit going on possible. <laughs> Yeah, this is like one of those things that you see in anime where it's like, oh yeah, you got a group of kids or people just chat with each other. What's happening around them? Nothing. Nah. Uh. Good old anime tropes. That's a good point, actually. Hmm. I need to uh, read the synopsis here, because I'm a little bit lost, admittedly. Uh, Takahashi tries to molest Anri in the hallway, but Masaomi uh, prevents them from doing so. Uh, at the park, Mikado and Masaomi learn from Anri that her friend Mika is a stalker, uh, has gone missing because Seiji, who is also being stalked, rejected Mika. 
got mm-hmm. <laughs> more tangled than a plot of anime. Wow, I am not on my A game today. Come on, Tom, step it up. <laughs> I don't know. Plot of anime kind of sounds <laughs> accurate, to be honest. Ah, plot of anime. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking Mojo Jojo doing commentaries. <laughs> Wait, did that girl get a new phone? Mm, I guess she would have had to. Uh, yeah, I mean, it did get curb stomped. Mm. Hey, it worked out in uh, JoJo Part 4 with Koichi. That it did. It's also interesting how Kita acts like a typical high school kid, too, like, when you think about it. hmm Which is actually good, because most of the time when you see, like, high school in anime, they don't act like an actual high school kid would act. They, they just act like uh, college-age students? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, he, he craves the excitement of the Dollars Gang. <laughs> that he does. That was well timed. That it was. And this could just be an entirely different show compared to the last episode. I kind of dig that. Oh, yeah, for sure. In some ways, it's a good and a bad thing. Like, it's good because it definitely feels fresh, like, with each episode, but it Uh also feels bad because it doesn't feel cohesive at times. A little bit disconnected. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I don't understand any of these idioms or <laughs> kanji having ass. I, I at least like that they acknowledge that it is kanji, unlike another popular series. Hmm, what could you- Jelly-filled he... donuts. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you have been seething about that since the-, the fucking show's over. Ash is retired now. Yeah, but they still did it. <laughs> yeah, well- Four kids are out there somewhere. Go do what you have to. Uh, I'll just write a scathing review, which will <laughs> probably just be ignored. You do that. <laughs> I'm a slasher. Lock me up. You ever seen Hot Fuzz, mate? I have not. It is fucking fantastic. Tell me more. No, just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Like, what? <laughs> just, the, 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 <laughs> you, you just put me in a stun lock there, because I really did not know how to respond in a polite way. Oh, well, okay, I guess I'll have to watch Hot Fuzz. Oh. Ah, huh, interesting. Mm-hmm. So, are the dollars... The only gang, and there's different factions, or is there, like, a war going on? 
Uh, so there is technically a gang war in a way, but it's mostly based on colors like yellow, blue, red, etc. Oh. But then there's also the dollars who have no color alignment. Right, yeah, that I remember. Um, well, we've seen Mikado, Masaome, and Anri all wearing different colors, funnily enough. Mm hmm. Wonder if that's going to go anywhere. We'll have to find out. That sushi actually looked pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't like sushi. I, I've never actually had any myself, but you know, it's fish at the end of the day. It is, yes. Hello, Steve Blum. Yep, Steve Blum, very obvious voice. Mm hmm Mm. Oh! <laughs> like, someone's chasing them, and another group are chasing them. It's just a never-ending chase sequence. Hmm... Oh. Also, I was going to say that uh, she has a nasty slash around her neck. Um, probably shouldn't have brought that up. Yeah, it's definitely not uh, not something that you normally would see on someone. Oh, he's going to throw the plastic bag at them. It's full of noodles. <laughs> and here we just see everything happening all at once. Oh, so this whole thing was in media res to begin with. It all makes sense now. That it was. Ooh. Oh, that, that's... Mer Tab! Ooh. Nasty. What are these spindly lads? Can we go back and see more of that, please? Uh, well, maybe in the next episode, but uh, <laughs> we don't do two takes anymore. Darn it. Aw. It's good that they're having a laugh. It is. Especially in the middle of a gang war. You gotta you got take your last way you can. Mm-hmm. Where is your nose? Uh, it's the two little lines right above their mouth. Ah, I see. Mm-hmm. Hello, it's me again. Hey. Is this a chick who jumped off the roof? No, it's, uh, she had pigtails and lighter hair. This one, I don't know who it is. No. Yeah. Oh, that's Kida. Interesting. Ah, uh, is that the otaku girl? Hmm. Similar hair to the stalking slasher. Hmm. The hash slinging, etc., etc. <laughs> The slash bringing. I can't remember enough of the episode to fully complete the quote. Here, here's a fun thing. Why don't you guys do it yourselves? <laughs> I was just like thinking about just making up some of my own, but eh. I just caught on to the fact that all the other non-important characters don't have colors. Yeah, that's uh, it's actually more interesting compared to like what you see nowadays, where they had just have no features. Yeah, I mean, Persona Five did something similar, if I recall. I think like they just had them like 
uh, like silhouetted in gray, but then again, uh, it's been a while since I played Persona 5. Mm hmm. All right, so we got a love triangle. We got a hash slinging slasher. Uh, more gangs. Roman about dude of a briefcase. He's very important. Uh, he's probably actually not all that important, but uh, yeah, there is no stinger here, so we can close that one down. Uh, that took me a while to uh, warm up to. Usually, the middle episode out of the ones we watch is uh, like the one where my energy and concentration is like middling. It's like I start strong dip a bit, and then by the final episode, we're back in business. But like Axel said, uh, there are positives and negatives to having so many characters and switching between the focuses in each episode. Like, we had Celti in the last one, now it's uh, Mikado and his crew. And like Axel said, you know, it can lead to a bit of a disconnect, but on the other hand, if you really like these characters and you want to know more about them and see how they they grow and whatnot, boom. You know, jobs are good. But uh, we have one more episode left, so let's go ahead and load up episode six here. Any comments before we move on, mate? Uh, nope, no comments from me. Wow. A HFC first. Axel has nothing to say. I detect the sarcasm. Uh, you know, dabble in a little bit of sarcasm from <laughs> here on in and, uh, you know, way back when. All right, you ready to finish off this batch, mate? That I am. All right, here we go. Episode six of Durarara, the last one of this batch in three, two, one, click. Okie dokie. Now you get to pick the subject we talk about during the OP, mate. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh, let's talk about like the recent Sony uh, showcase, I guess. Oh, yeah. What were your thoughts on the whole thing? Um... Lots of cool third party stuff. I don't know what the hell they're doing with first party. Hmm. For me, like if I had to give it a grade, four out of ten at best, and that's stretching it honestly. Like they have third party stuff, but they tried to make it look like it was first party grade tier stuff, but it really wasn't. Mm. Also, Square, uh, you want to explain your soap Splatoon? Yeah, what the hell's up with that? Foam Stars, was it? Yeah, Foam Stars, but it's like, the moment I saw it, it's like, oh, is this gonna be Splatoon, but with soap? And then it happened, and I'm like, I wasn't being serious. <laughs> yeah, it's like striking while the iron is glacial at this point, but uh, <laughs> who knows, maybe it'll be fun, maybe it'll be one of those uh, games that shuts down after a year. Oh, I see where you're going with that one. Mm -hmm. But uh, in any case, I got Spider-Man 3, so fuck you all. I think it'd be Spider-Man 2. That's, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself, eh? <laughs> I, I know why you're saying Spider-Man 3. It's because the Tobey Maguire series featured the Black Spider-Man in the third movie. Oh, maybe. Hey, it's that girl from that one other anime whose name escapes me. Oh, uh, I know who exactly you're talking about. Oh, Spice and Wolf? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, yeah, that actually looked just like her. Like, when I saw it, I'm like, wait, is that meant to be her? Uh, I, like, is it animated by the same company? I'll have to look this up. Yeah, we'll have to look this up. Spooky. We start at night. Oh. Fans speeding down the streets. Kooky music. We have really interesting evenings here. <laughs> I like how her face is just smashed against the window. <laughs> Guys, put your fucking seatbelts on. What the fuck are you talking about? Sit down. Uh uh, if I recall, I believe that she is also someone who likes to read a lot of manga or something, so I guess that makes a bit of sense why she goes with stuff like that. Yeah, her and the other dude, complete. Mm -hmm. Otaku, that's the one. A weeb would be a foreigner getting into all that <laughs> stuff. 
I also have to like remind myself like the other guy is not Kida because this guy's hair covers his eyes. Yeah. He just does not. Yeah. So this shot right here at this angle, it made him look like Solid Snake. Oh my god, yeah, with the bandana and everything. Yeah. And it's Steve Bloom who, it's not David Hayter, but it could actually pass for a younger Solid Snake voice. Oh, absolutely, mate. Yep, Brain Space, uh, they animated this, and uh, they also did Spice and Wolf 2, actually. Ooh. Then yeah, that could be a subtle nod. Well, yeah. subtle, in quotes. <laughs> yeah, look at our new thing. Bada bing. Oh, they also did Dawn Masters. Interesting. Wow. Like, one season at least. I'm not sure if it was the whole show. Oh, uh, if it was just one season, then eh, it could have been good, depending. Just one season? I, Axel Ryman, refuse to give it props, then. No, no, I, I'll give it props if it's a good season. <laughs> I think it but was if it's the seal of if it's the seal of Orichalcos, no. Uh, well, that's not what Duel Masters is, mate. Oh wait, no. Oh, I think Duel Monsters on that one. Uh, Duel Masters is the. Oh, I know exactly which one Duel Masters is. Yeah. Okay. It, never mind. I never saw it. Uh, the protag looks like Gone from that one of Ranimo. Yeah. I'm now remembering a there little bit of it, at least. Yeah. Nom. Nom nom nom. Hmm. Someone tells me, oh, okay, I thought, like, they were all gone, and then another doodle hound was going to come out. <laughs> Good old, just smack the pipe. Mm-hmm. So are they trying to get illegal immigrants to join the club? This guy's a... Uh, he's on his own little world. Christ. Oh yeah, these guys were in the, the first episode who kidnapped that girl that uh, went to jump off the building, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, rumors are being heard that people have been missing lately and being used uh, as raw materials for experiments. Yeah, that we caught. Uh, dilapid mm -hmm. Dilapidated hotel, illegal immigrants. Well, we found the dilapidated hotel, I think. What the fuck? <laughs> That's a stereotypical accent. Well, can't blame him for trying. Oh, I wonder what nationality he is. Oh, he's clearly French. Look, he's trying to run away. Yeah, there's a clear French ass right there. <laughs> oh, yellow, blue, red again. There we go. Hmm. Japanese nightlife is interesting with how bright the uh, it can be. Yeah, and all the gangs and whatnot, and the doolahan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wasn't talking about this, I was just talking about in general. Okay. Ah, a perfectly pristine place to piss. Yay, can we take off the plastic and actually take a piss? Hmm. Ha! Because they're dollars. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, 
mixing the chloroform live is so funny. Oh no. Oh no. That's a really nice place. It really is. Admittedly, Simon looks a little bit out of place in comparison, but that's probably because he's just standing in the middle. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Very tempting, though. Not. I would hope it's not made a human. Sadly, I am not a humanitarian, so... (laughs) I'm really gonna try sushi one of these days. So, work actually did buy it once for all of us to have for lunch, and it was my first time, and uh, I'm not a fan of it, mostly because I don't like cold fish. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They're trying to kidnap a dude while also (laughs) falling asleep from chloroform (laughs) themselves, that's hilarious. It really is. It's like, well, you guys messed up. Oh, no. Oh, no, not the music. This is going to incite reprisals is what this is going to do, because these dudes (laughs) are part of the dollars. (laughs) Motherfuckers. I was actually about to say, yeah, he actually, he did break a plate or whatever. Yeah. (laughs) Why is that? Ah. Let's see. What did this dude actually do? Uh, a foreign ticket seller. A foreign ticket seller. Yeah. What's he selling tickets for? That I don't know. Jesus Christ. Not everything is out of me! Hmm. <laughs> Alien. Hmm. Doolan. Hmm. Shinra. Hmm. Hmm. Pen. <laughs> Oh, God, I will never try wasabi ever again. Mm. Uh, I don't mind spicy stuff. Like, I've been having this uh, really nice nacho chili cheese dip whenever I get some uh, crisps or chips. Mm. I'm a crisp slash chip fiend. That's how I got how I am today. (laughs) Uh, Tom, have you ever heard of the Packy One Chip Challenge? I've heard of it. I dare not even dream of attempting it. Guess who actually did it once? Oh, my man. Uh, I went 30 minutes without drinking any sort of milk for relief, and uh, the afterburn was the most painful part. I can imagine. Uh, I was wishing for death. It's like, how the fuck are you meant to calm your insides without milk? Uh, ice cream. Tums slash Pepto-Bismol. Okay. Maybe.
Huh. Hmm. Oh, Seiji. What have you got yourself into? Oh, it's a head! Oh, no. Wait a minute. That hair looked familiar. It did. I can already see people in the comments typing, Yeah, that's because it's- No, don't tell us! So, based on the reaction, I'm just assuming Shinra is very bad at directions. <laughs> Maybe so. Hmm. Like, not even the old dog of yore could find him. Oh, no. Well, maybe he could, just very slowly. <laughs> cast a no at Doftweb. I, I like how the year is uh, 2010, too. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me, when did this air? Uh, I will look that up for you, mate. Thank you. Okay. Ah. He sells tickets for idol shows. This makes a lot of sense, though. Wow, even back then, idols were super popular. Oh, they've been popular for decades, mate. That's true, that's true. <laughs> yeah, this came out in 2010 as well. Oh, wow, perfect timing. Yeah. You who? Yeah. Yeah, why not? That seems like a normal <laughs> thing to do, and I'll just be taking this sushi. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder who that could be. <laughs> oh, they this... have they have fun. The two of them on screen at the same time is the best thing, mm -hmm. I would say. Oh my god, they're breaking out the tools. Oh my god. She got hammers, he has screwdrivers. Hell yeah. Or, oh no, those aren't screwdrivers. Uh, oh god, what are those? Chisels. Thank you. Chisels. Thanks. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> to, to correctly identify chisels, and only to correctly identify chisels. <laughs> god help me if I did correctly identify chisels, though. They do look like chisels, so I'm going to go along with it. <laughs> They're still woozy. <laughs> he he's really trying so hard. Really? <laughs> Please don't sue us. <laughs> Ow. Woke up from one nap, sent to another. Oh my god, they sent his ass to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Don't mess with the dollars, they'll send you to the Shadow Realm. You know, it's funny, that was kind of like, I think the term is borderization, where they kind of soften things for the international audience. I think Shadow Realm has so much more impact than just kill. I actually think so too. Because like, there's now the, I think about it. There's the implication of just being trapped in a place like hell, but worse. Yeah, and you're actually like living. You're not just dead. You're living through it. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this music. So funny. It, it sounds so happy and peaceful. No, no, that would be... Guys like that like the freedom to kick back and stretch their legs. You know, behind the throne is a lot more comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's also good that they're giving us a little bit more insight on the dollars as a whole, too. <gasps> Gave her a fucking shopping list instead of the actual thing. Funnily enough, I've actually done that. Oh. Axel. What? Well, well, on purpose, we'll say. Oh, Axel? <laughs> Question mark. Uh, one of my old jobs, I had to do like morning announcements, so I would say like on the menu today: milk, eggs, bread, cheese. Wait, that's my shopping list. Oh, did that go over <laughs> well? Did you get some yucks? Uh, I got a couple. It, it just meant that I was in a good mood that day. Good stuff. Oh no, a tiny knife at a bar. I don't know, that bar is uh, really powerful. Have you seen Mike Hagger? Oh yeah, true. Is she cool? Oh, but there's the backup. It is kind of funny, like, they were deliberately trying to avoid <laughs> fucking mm -hmm. with the dollars and ended up taking a, an old guy who was related to the dollars. <laughs> yep. And we're back to the scene that we saw before. Okay, this um, feature, I guess, is confusing me a little bit, because I could never tell what's present and what's past. I know, it's, it, they do a good job of concealing it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> the fact that they had to say that. Oh, they were just taking the piss. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to like this series a lot, actually. <laughs> you know, I'll. They could actually, like, learn a thing or two from the torture scene here. Hmm? I mean, it worked. Are you not wrong? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Ah, sis. Yep, there's a stalker eyes, all right. Stalker eyes, and the red hair is familiar still. Thanks for watching Toonami. <laughs> it, was, it was Adult Swim, but not Toonami, but same thing. No, it was Toonami in the UK. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so over in the US was Adult Swim then. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The Van Gang, as they are called, rescue Kazutano and capture Asunuma, uh, who reveals 
that all three human traffickers bring the abducted people to Yagiri Pharmaceuticals Lab 6, which is being used to experiment on humans. So not only do we have the gang stuff, we also have some shady organization dealing with abductions. And, uh, yeah, something to keep an eye on, I believe. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, no stinger, so I can close that down. That, folks, was Der Rarara episodes four to six. Another entertaining batch. We're getting into the world good and proper now, uh, playing fast and loose uh, with how events play out. We're meeting all the main players and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. So thank you once again, SH Madam, for continuing to commission this. More Dura soon. Before we uh, sign off and uh, I do my shilling, any last comments, uh, Axel? Dollar dollar bills. Yo, dollar dollar bills, yo. All right. <laughs> if you guys want your own TV comms, be aware there is a backlog stretching back a few years. Because, uh, oh, I didn't af- anticipate or appreciate how popular we would become. And uh, I'm a bit of a hack when it comes to uh, working properly. But uh, everything that has been commissioned will be done eventually. So thank you for your patience. And we can hang out in either the HFC, Patreon, Discord, or the regular one in the meantime. And I can keep you all updated because we have a big old document there which uh, gets updated as we go along it's very useful actually but uh yeah help support hfc by commissioning a tv com or movie and uh we'll see what's what down the line thanks for watching we'll see you next time for another round of hfc patreon tv coms bye bye